In fact, in nature, we have uh, these molecules present since the beginning of our, uh, of our world. And estrogen, they were always a pro-life molecule, a pro-life molecule. But what happened? That the life was not expected to go so long in humans. And uh, humans, only since uh, the middle of uh, 19th, they were going above 60 years of age. And now, we are in 2000, we are reaching also 80. And also, in most of the women, they also reach their 90s. And what means? This means that the time after the menopause, which the menopause is not changing, it's around 50s, it was starting to go and to be longer and longer and longer. And this makes that the human deprivation of estrogens, which was only for a short time in the past, now is for a long time. And the question arises, what to do? Is the estrogen deprivation something positive or something negative? In fact, we have seen that it is something negative because it's affecting a series of uh, organs, functions, believing, mood, uh, quality of life, and then we went to see how we can treat that one. And for those negative effects, we have no solution. Certainly, they are not present in all women. There are some women who are in particular sensitive. And then we have high-risk individual for breast cancer, for example. High-risk individual for endometrial cancer on the other side. We have high-risk individual for clotting problem. We have high-risk individual for hypertension. And then we have to try to find something which can be given to the greater past of individual escaping from those risks, if possible. What is the major fear of women? is the problem of the breast cancer. This is the major fear of women, also because the breast cancer have uh, an incidence at age around uh, 50 to 60, is the most common female cancer at that time. Then what we need is a treatment who can escape for a breast stimulation. This is the major, the greatest and the most important uh, uh, goal that have to be reached by a treatment which at the same time provide positive effect on the brain, positive effect on the skin, positive effect on the genital tract, on the bone, but not have a, a breast stimulation. Yes, this is, I think, my, the major goal that we have to be reached. You have the menopause of 50, you will die at 90, you will have 40 years. The problem is not only to cover two, three years around the menopause time to escape from the symptom, but we have seen that the problem is to try to maintain the proper estrogenic stimulation on the estrogen receptor, the proper one, for as long as possible. The greatest part of the women, they avoid the therapy. I am living in a country, in Italy, where only 7% of the women are treated. That this means that 93% they are not treated. And it's pity, it's pity. Because they lose an opportunity to have a better quality of life, enjoying better of the life, enjoying better of femininity, at the same time save their bones, save their skin, save their genital tract, save their mood and behavior. We need to use the most efficient, but at the same time the most safer treatment, because we need to use that one for a long time. We cannot, it's not a treatment for one week, it's not a treatment of flu or of a fever, it's a treatment of a something which is changing in the, fem in the female body and since that moment you have to assist the woman for as long as possible.